Check the batteries. Is that better? Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry about that. My microphone was playing up a little bit. If you are new to the studio, my name is Tony Darrick and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft. There we are. There you can all hear me now. Well done, well done. If you are tuning in for the first time, and I know there is a lot of people tuning in for the first time today, welcome to the show, everybody. You will find that this is a lovely place to come and visit and gather some inspiration. We, sh we share hints and tips and techniques. You do not have to have the Stamps By Me products to enjoy this studio. Just come, get a cup of tea and see what the show's got to offer. And if it is something you like, then you can take it away with you and do as you please. If you are watching on YouTube, please don't forget to click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And there is a little HD button as well there. If you click that one, that one will give you a better viewing experience. Also, just one more. If you can pop a comment after the live show, um, letting me know what you thought about the show. Um, did you enjoy it? Is it something you will try? Um, over on our YouTube page, that would be brilliant also. This gives us a wider reach to more people, hopefully. What have I got to tell you about? What about the shows? Did you all enjoy them? My gosh, it was a fabulous three days, wasn't it? And I tried to get in as much as I could for you all to show you just so many variations of uh, ways to use lamination. So if you are um, using lamination or waiting for your first ever purchase of the lamination stamps, I believe they have been dispatched today, which is really, really quickly. And you should have them within the next few days. So I can't wait to see what you're all going to do with them. I really have had the best three days ever, knowing that you're all going to get them and just enjoy them. So, hi Joe, Bridget, Rosie, Jackie, Rita, Adele, Hazel, Viv, David. Hi everyone, it's lovely to see you all. The weather is okay today, isn't it? Let me just sort myself out, as you can see. It's been a little bit of a rush and I look like I have literally been pulled through a hedge when I haven't. I'm just going to pop my mic on now that you can all hear me. Back onto my back pocket, so I'm not going to drop off. One second. There we go. There we go, I'm all safe now. So as you can see, I've got a lovely pile of goodies in, the fr in front of me here. Um, and I uh, just wanted to tell you all about them. You've all been waiting patiently and every time I'm in studio, when are they in stock, when are they in stock, when are they in stock? So I just want to quickly show you that they are in stock. So I'm not going to go into great detail. You can all go and have a look on the website and go over and enjoy it. If you do like any of the products, all you need to do is pop FBL into the search engine on our website and all of the new products that have landed, uh, well not all of them, but some of them are popped in there for ease for you to have a look around and some of our famous ones are back in stock. We've also loaded so much more stock to the website today. So if you have the opportunity and would like to kill a little bit of time, you can go onto our website, check out the videos, the gallery. We've got lots of new pictures on there. There's lots of new stock in the Himmy and Maya range. So have a nosy, you know, see if there's anything you like. But as always, you don't have to have the products. So I'll just quickly show you. So these ones that I always use, which you've all been waiting for, are here. This is them. So they come in three colour waves. All the colours inside the box are the same, as in the pans are exactly the same. So it's down to personal preference what you want your outer case to look like. So we have a peach, a blue and a green. So they're all on there so you can have a look if you have been waiting. So that's those. I'll just set these aside. We have the pencil sharpeners back in stock, which it's the large pencil sharpener that gives you a lovely point on your pencils. We have the watercolour tubes, which I know a lot of you use and have been using. Uh, I use these a lot. You will see these in a lot in a lot of my videos on YouTube. And we have the oil pastels. They're not pencils, they're actually oil pastels. 
and if you look in the video section of our YouTube and if you look at Himmit and Maya um, category you'll see me doing some work with these um, like a lady and a gent in like a forest and things like that and um, I follow a lovely gentleman on YouTube I can't think of his name for the life of me put me on the spot who works with these every single day and my inspiration came from him and he's so inspirational I just picked it up first time and I did what you saw me do on video so I'm confident that if you want to have a go at pastels I'm not forcing you but if you want to they're really really easy actually it's quite surprising so go and check that one out but they're not for everyone I appreciate that like I did send them to the design team but half of them sent them back and went not for me so they aren't for everyone so let's have a look will I be getting the sentiment stamps right this is what's happened so whilst I was on TV, obviously, if they've sold out on TV, you've come to our website to get them, and that's absolutely fine. We'd love you to come and buy our products. But what happens is we only can load a, a certain amount. Uh, and as you can imagine, the orders that have come in for the last three days, Dean is in the back now dealing with them. Until we've cleared down what's come in, I can't load any more. We might have a few. We have got a few. But I can't load them until Dean's cleared what's actually on the box now, if that makes any sense at all. So probably come two or three days when everything's closed down because we're sending out the cabin stamps tomorrow as well. So that's going to be entail a little bit of work too. So they'll be getting sent tomorrow. So if you just give us a few days, I'll load back on what we've got left, i.e. the sentiments and the frames. And then if you did miss out, you can go and grab them. Is that all right? I will let you know. I, I will say in here if I've loaded them back on, I'll pop it on Facebook for you. So everything okay? Deep breath, deep breath. Whew getting through all of that so how many people are brand new to the channel today or how many people have joined the Eureka fan page over the weekend lots of you I know I've been watching so you will be unaware of our craft academy which is actually coming to the end but it still doesn't mean you can't get involved so basically we will launch him a new stamp every single day and the one that we're currently working on is this one and you can craft along at home if you want to and basically you um, pick up some inspiration something that's going to help you improve your stamping um, and just elevate you really so the the stamps were there to make everybody step out of their comfort zone including me and um, we're on to week nine ten on to week ten believe it or not but you can go back and buy the stamps. All you need to do is pop FBL into the search engine and it brings back all the ones that are left and then the videos and the tuition are over on YouTube. Watercolors are fantastic. Lindsay, not getting on with the pencil sharpener, it's too pointy. <laughs> yeah, I found that originally, but I'm used to it now. So, And I do like a good point on my pencils, to be honest. So, Yep, the cabins are getting sent tomorrow. So you'll all have them by the end of the week, and then I think we're all squits. Are we squits? I think we're all... We should have cleared the decks and we should be good to go. So that's the one we're working on today. We're working on this one for the last time today, this one. And I'll just show you it here. So if you do want to get involved at any point, you can do that one too. My fault, there we go. And then these ones are the last two in the range. So we have the beautiful watercolour magic, which is this one. There we go. And when I turn it over, you'll be able to see exactly what it's like. There we go. So there'll be some nice techniques for this one. And then we have this one, Wild Soul. And that's it on the back there, super huge. They are big stamps. And then um, this one is the one we did before, the one that we're working on today, and there are a few of these left. But a lot of them have sold out, unfortunately. So that's those. Shall we craft? One thing to tell you about, on the 25th, which is a Saturday, we are opening our store for one day, 10 till 3. Um, it would be lovely to see you if you can come. Please don't come if you have any symptoms. And please don't come if you are expecting a cake, a tea or a coffee, which is normal for us. We're not allowed to give you any drinks, unfortunately, so you'll have to bring your own. You'll have to cater for yourself, just on that occasion, hopefully. And then we will review um, the store in a few months and see where we're going with it. On that very same day, we are doing our Craft Academy afternoon, which means um, I'm going to be showing all of the lovely cards that you've all made and sent in to me. And I'm going to be talking you through them and any messages that any of you have wanted me to read out, I'm going to read out live in the studio. So that's going to be great. Gillian, I'm bring my own. 
Okay, lucky power to see you, Jillian. Right, okay. So I'm, there are two types showing on the website. Have we got a problem there, Zeph? No, right? Um, I don't know. What time is the Academy show? Half past four on Saturday the 25th. So I'm going to open the store 10 till 3 and then at 4.30 I'll be in here. I'll have hopefully had that hour to myself to set it all up and then we're going to have a live hour or two. I don't know how long it's going to last. There is a lot and I have a surprise to tell you all about. I am so excited. Yeah, the big set of watercolour items has a taste of everything from the, from the Himmy and Maya range. So you've got pencils and things like that in there. So have a look. Right, so let's craft. Let's craft. So we're going to be using the fabulous. Um, it's like a, a stroll. You can use your cute critter stamps, um, your ladies in the centre. We've done lots and lots of techniques. If you are new to the channel, you really do need to go back and have a look at all the Academy stamps that we've done over the last 10 weeks. Um, there are so, so many. Um, so go back and enjoy them. The vi I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but do you see how many people actually watch live now? It's absolutely fabulous. And it's a lovely family. We all look after each other, or we try to. And we all help each other, which is fabulous too. So first of all, I've got this piece of watercolour cardstock. Now, I don't, you don't have to have watercolour cardstock. Is anybody crafting along? Let's find out if anybody's crafting along. The oil pastel pencils are back in stock as well. I haven't grabbed those. Check those out. So I'm just trying to think of all the ones that you've all been asking me for. There's lots on there. We've loaded lots, but um, I've tried to pick the ones that I know people are waiting for. Just watching. Okay. I am. Joe. Okay, I better tell you properly then before I get into trouble. So let's um, show you what I'm doing. So I have two top folding note cards here, look. So you can see here, so we're going to make a little bit of a swing card, if that's what you want to call it. I'm not sure what the correct terminology is for it, but it's an alternative way of maybe making a card or a book. So what I'm going to do first of all, it's just two top folding note cards and these measure seven by five and a half. Seven by five and a half. But if you have bigger ones, it's exactly the same. There are um, no given sizes. You just need two top folding note cards. Okay, so first of all, let's put these two together. So I'm just going to use a tape pen. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some tape on this part here. Now, you can use glue as well at home. And then I'm just going to sit this card up, put it up to that score line. Okay, as straight as I can. And then stick it flat. And then what we've got here is a book. Can you see that there? Like so. And then I have some patterned paper for our little book. So I've just cut several pieces of patterned paper from one of our paper collections and what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the front of our piece of artwork. So I'm just going to stick this one flat onto here. Now this is just um, a size down so let's just have a look. So this is six and three quarters so we've lost a little bit of a, not much, I don't like thick borders at five and a quarter. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this onto the front. So if you've got some papers in your stash, get them dug out. Um, your top folding note cards are colours that you maybe don't use all the time. Let's get them used. Let's not stick that on upside down. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to cover it, but let's try and get it the right way, hey? Can you see that there? And then our piece of watercolour card is going to sit in the centre here, okay? Like so. Yeah? So let's work on our watercolour card here. So this watercolour piece of card is smaller than my stamp. I'll just show you. So 
you can see if I lay this on here, I absolutely nearly lose all of the design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the design forward or this way. It depends which you like the best. So if you like the thick trees on the side and it filtered off, or if you want this side, you still get the trees on the left and the right. And that's what I'm going to go with. But before I do that, I'm going to create something to build on. So you all know that are the white top folding note cards in yet? Yes. They're just not on the website yet. <laughs> but yes, they are in. Um, hopefully I'll have them on by the end of the week. We have white and black to start with. And the white come with beautiful diamond tip um, envelopes which are a beautiful snug fit and we have the black ones which come with diamond tip black envelopes which are a beautiful quality so you can heat emboss um, things onto the front as well so that's really really cool so i'm just going to bring in my palette here my dirty palette that is let's just um, give it a clean first of all so let's just pop some water on here get some tissue and just clean it down let's start fresh today hey as you will have all seen on <laughs> whilst I was on create and craft this got used a lot the color palette got used a lot because the lamination stamps are really built for watercoloring so it depends on your style if you like the pans the two I love both I have a love affair with watercolors full stop so whether they are in pans whether they are in tubes whether they are semi-baked, whether they are creamy, I just love to play, experiment. And I love paintbrushes too. So, there we go. That's me. And we're all different. Shall we just give a big shout out to Karen off my design team as well today? Because it's Karen's birthday. So, hello Karen. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a great day, Karen. You all know Karen from the Eureka fan page. So I don't know if she's watching, but have a great day, darling. So I'm just cleaning my brush here because it's still got the colour in. I'm just wetting the cardstock. Now you can take the cardstock down if you want to. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to pick up some of this like ochre colour here. Can we see this here? I'm just going to pound some in just to give myself something to build my artwork on top of. So it doesn't look like it's just floating on a st like a stark piece of card. So I try not to blend it out perfectly. I like the texture. And it just looks after itself, really. So let's just dry this one off. So when this is dry, it practically disappears to nothing. So the colours always dry three, two to three shades lighter. So do have the courage to get the colour down. I did notice that a lot of you had spied the new goodies that I snuck into the show on the weekend. Some lovely matte and layered eyes. So we're going to be on TV for four days and every single day we're going to be launching brand new products. Which is going to be lovely. Absolutely great. So let's just clear off this mat here so it's nice and tidy. So I know I'm making a little booklet today, but if you want to just make a pretty little card, you can do. You just have to mount it onto the card. I'm making a little booklet but, excuse me, try not to look at it as, you know, oh, I've got to make the book. You haven't got to make the book. You can do anything you please. Can you give us some clues? What clues would you like? OMG, I'll be divorced. 
I do feel sorry for you guys. I really do. So I'm just taking a stamp now. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position it so I don't have the full piece. So, and I say it time and time again, don't think you've got to use the whole of the design just because it's been designed with a frame last show we did I showed you how to make it look like a tunnel so you didn't have the harsh line around this time I'm going to just show you that you don't have to use the whole of the design so I'm going to sort of like lose a quarter here can we see that there and then this part is the element that we're going to be working on I know the birthday shows and do you know what as well the birthday shows have lots of things in there that are going to incorporate with your lovely lamination stamps so you're going to really be able to, um, if you are thinking about buying them, they're not just going to be like a one-off purchase. They are going to work with your lamination stamps. And that were, that's why I put those shows like back to back really, because I knew if you bought those, these are going to work just as well too. But if you've bought lamination and you can't afford to buy the frames, you will have frames in your stash. So they're still going to look equally as beautiful. Because some people say, oh, I can't afford it all and I really want it all. And I appreciate that. And it is difficult, but you will have something in your stash that's going to really make your cards lovely anyway. Because if you've been buying like everybody else, you will have matte and layered eyes. I'm certain of it. So I'm just going to pop my palette away because I just wanted to pop a little backdrop on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in my tin of little distress inks. Now, if you don't have the distress inks, you can use the generation inks. If you don't have the generation inks, you just need um, any coloured ink pads. We're not doing any specific technique, really. Um, water-based is preferred, but if you don't have water-based, um, any coloured ink pads is going to give you this lovely technique. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to build a little bit of collage, but I'm going to use different coloured ink pads in different areas. We've not done this one before. So where there's a suggestion of some green, I'm going to do some green. So I'm going to need a green, I'm going to need a brown... Let's go darker green too. And let's do a bit of mahogany because that'd be nice for the trees. And then the rest we might paint in ourselves. What do we think? What dates are the shoes? <laughs> what dates are the shows? The shows are <laughs> 18th. So that is, I think it's a Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So um, live hours every single day. Two or three live hours each day. So you're going to get a lot of content and a lot of inspiration there. So let's move these out of the way. Let's go and do the green part, shall we first? So let's just bring this into shot so you've got so you've got vision of what I'm actually doing. There we go. So I'm just going to use, if you are using exactly the same colours, I'm using peeled paint, distress ink, and I'm just going to go into where it's where it looks like it's green on this stamp. So I have some um, green at the top there. There is a little bit of grass content down here across the path. If you remember the first path we did in our craft academy and we sealed it with the clear embossing, if you remember, and then we went over it with the colour, that would be a great technique for this stamp too. Okay, so let's just set that aside and let's just stamp this out. So it's only going to stamp out the areas where I've popped that coloured green. And if I have to go on again, I can. There we go, look, how cool is that? So I'm going to use a different green this time and I'm going to add a little bit of texture. But I'm not going to go in all of the areas, just random. Let's maybe pick some different areas to where we've gone there. Where else? A little bit here. And a little bit here. So I haven't gone all over with my second colour. And then this will just create a little bit of contrast in our, in our design. The watercolour kiss sets, uh, is that the ones I just said at the beginning? Who's asking that question? So now you can see, I don't know if that's showing very well on camera, but I have got two tone of green in there. So let's move on to the trees. So now I'm going to be using walnut stain and I'm going to try and pick up those trees now if you've got your watercolour pens you saw me use those in show yesterday you could take your pen straight to the stamp if that's all you've got that would work so I'm just going on with the brown here to pick up those trees maybe pick up some detail in the path here 
and I'm just angling that little pad there just to try and prevent me from getting it everywhere. Not dark enough yet, let's keep going. So go back onto those trees. And it's like you're actually building a scene. Now that is a um, clue, building a scene. That is a clue for the birthday week. Not telling you anything else. You are you lot bully me. The thing is though, I can't help you on water. <laughs> So I might have to, there we go, it's coming together now. So you can see already just with that wash on the background, you've created a little bit of an atmospheric picture, haven't you? Rather than the harsh, stark white in the back, it's already not floating. It's grounded instantly. So really, it's just down to, let's, I've now got the aged mahogany and I'm going on to some of the trees, not all of them. I'm just going to highlight some of them. So we've got a variation in trees and then I might... What detail I've got going on down here? Some here. Let's add a little bit here. No, not 3D dies. I'm going to be guessing all this hour, aren't I? <laughs> There we go. So you can see we've got some red tones in those trees now. Can we see that? I hope it's picking it up a little bit better than it looks for me. But we've got some red tones in there too. Can we see that there? So now it's just a case of going in now and complementing it with more colours. So let's make it even better. So the same colours that you've used, you don't need lots of coloured ink pads. I'll be probably all of you have got everything. I'm just going to pick up some of the mahogany. Just going to get a smaller brush. We're just going to add a little bit of detail in there. So the red into the trees themselves. And don't forget these are reactive inks. So as soon as you add the water, they will react whatever's underneath. So just bringing it to life a little bit. But isn't it nice not to have an image that's stamped all in one colour? The outline of the grass is green. The outline of the trees is brown. Really, really different. Well, it's not different, not, not different at all, but it gives you a different look. That's better. So let's get some of our lovely green. This really does look like a, um, a sketched sort of um, watercolour painting. So now I'm just going to drop some of this lovely green into here. And as you all know, I always pounce from the side of my brush. And if you can leave a little bit of white space, even better. So pounds, pounds, pounds. And let's swap out for the different green too. Is the Eureka sponge mat washable? As in to physically pop it in the wash? Is that what you mean? I would hate to say if that is the question. I've never popped mine in the wash. Um, I've just wiped mine with like a baby wipe or a Eureka, sorry, a stamp cleaning cloth. I haven't physically popped it in the wash. But if you look at your mat, it is actually just funky foam, isn't it? It's like, a, like what you've put underneath your cards and things like that. So I don't know and I would hate to say and you do it and then it come out like the size of a postage stamp so please don't be ringing me telling me you've done it and it's come out like it's come out like the size of that ink pad. <laughs> oh there you go Irene's done it on a 30 degree only. Was it okay Irene or did it come out like that? <laughs> We're all waiting patiently to find out I think. What are we like, eh? 
or a little bit of washing up liquid. Oh, you are a funny bunch. You really are. all blended into one now my image I haven't really got my lovely path it's disappeared I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of brown here oh I don't know So I'm basically just painting in any detail that I want to highlight and again it looks really really great in the sense that where the grass is green we have green ink outline and where the where there's brown it's brown so it really does look like I think you'd get away really would get away with it not I'm just going to pound some green into here get away with the people thinking it is actually a watercolored image so as you can see when I'm pouncing this in I don't stick to just where the stamp is, I enhance it and can you see how that brown now has sort of like bled, it looks more realistic so and I'm just going to bring that pouncing of that green right down a little bit just to give that suggestion, can you see that there, so there is no stamp there but I've just suggested that there are some leaves there so don't be scared to add suggestions, the, the card won't bite you, you won't say hey you're going out of the lines. <laughs> You see how it's bled a little bit, it looks really, really pretty. So I'm just spotting some of this last remaining ink on my mat here, and then I think we'll call it a day on that one. You can spend all the time in the world with it at home though. Hang on, we've just got a little bit of a light spot here. Just fill that in. I don't know what it is today, but my eyes have gone all crazy on me again. I must be allergic to Nathan. <laughs> so let's dry this off, move on to the next stage. see that little bit of texture in the background just makes it look a little bit more realistic you all know that when we stamp our images onto white cardstock the harsh white cardstock just it sort of like rings or tells you that it's not really a, a watercolor image so if you have the courage to add that wash on the back it just enhances it a little bit a little duck in there don't I so let's pop a sentiment in the centre of here and let's go with my favourite one of all time, Stay Positive. And it's a big one. So I always stamp my images through my artwork, so this is going in the centre. But today we're not going to stamp it in black. We're going to stamp it in a green or a, we'll go brown because we've got a lot of green going on. And keep it all in theme today. Okay, so I'll just take this off here. I got a little, shall I tell you, a little, do you want me to tell you a little story from back in the day, what happened to me once? So I, I obviously never tell stories in studio, I always concentrate on what we're doing, but I've got a little story if you want to hear it, because somebody's just reminded me about Jemima Puddle Duck. Bye Susan. Right, okay, so I've got a few yeses, so I'm going to do it. If you'd have all said no, could you imagine? I'd have been like, what? So, back in the day, as you all know what I did before, I was driving along and crossing the road were several little, like, ducklings. Um, you know, the fluffy yellow ones. <laughs> there were about nine of them all trying to cross the road. No mum, just the little ducklings. And they were all trying to cross the road, they're all following each other in a line. Well, obviously I've never seen that before and I had no idea how to deal with it, right? So I stopped the beat car 
and were pulled over and these little ducklings, I scooped them all up and I um, popped them in the beat car, in the boot and the little pond area where they're supposed to be, I drove round and whilst I was driving around they were all over the car, I'm not kidding, they were on the headrest, they were on the dash, they were under my feet. Um, they were on the back seat. I counted nine in and I got to the pond and I couldn't find the last one in my car. <laughs> right? And then I got to the lake, uh, sorry, to the pond and I thought, oh, what a, how lovely is that? I popped them all back in the pond. They all swam off, all nine of them together. But I, unbeknown to me, I didn't know that if they were without the mother, um, other like uh, swans or ducks would get really jealous. So when I popped them in the water, all the other birds started attacking them. I was like, oh, I've just saved them from a busy road and now I've put them back in the pond and they're, they're getting attacked. Oh, it so upset me that they were like get, get, getting pecked and I was stood at the side, bearing in mind, obviously I'm in uniform, and I'm trying to shoo away all these birds from pecking these poor little, little orange fluffy things. Anyway, the mother appeared and started flapping its wings and saved them all. But anyway... You can imagine, can't you? That's the story. I don't know if it's boring or not, but that was a little story. I rescued them. Um, I couldn't find the last one in my car, or it, well, under the chair in the end. And um, when I got there, they nearly died, but mum saved them. So quite funny, really. But anyway, that was the job. So there we go. Can we see that there? Stay positive in the nice, like, mahogany colour. That's like the trees. Bless you, Tony. Loved your story. I'm so boring. I know I'm boring. I just better stick to craft, hadn't I, and stop talking. <laughs> I don't have many stories, unfortunately. So let's create this card. Or else we're going to be here all day. I don't really want to tell stories. Just felt like today we could have a nice story. So let's make this little book. Oh, that's stuck. So I'm going to stick this one flat on here, look. Can we see that there? And the print behind lifts it straight away. But I find the green is going to, um, is a little bit harsh for our backing card. Now, the ways that you can get around that, if you're wanting to um, tone it down a little bit, is just grab some scrap paper. Just grab a piece here. and grab a that like a brown or something that's in keeping with your little piece of artwork and tone it down push it back a little bit and you're not going to hurt anything by just adding a darker color around the edge so i'm just going to pick up some of this let me just make sure i've got no color on there at all look i have i've got a yellow on there let me just clean it off then i'm just going to pick up some of this lovely brownie color and i'm just going to push it back a little bit hopefully it's dark enough to push it back not quite dark enough. Let's go with the mahogany. There we go. Can we see that there? So it's just pushed it back. There we go. Thanks, Nathan. It's just pushed it back there and it's got rid of that harsh green, which is clashing a little bit with our backing paper. So let's go all the way around very quickly just to push that green back a little bit. Even maybe black soot you would have been able to push this back with. It's unfortunate I don't have mine, but you could have pushed it back with the sort of that even as dark as that. And I don't think we've had the opportunity just to water a colour and image like we have today with this one. So it's been really nice to just be able to drag that colour out with a with a brush. Go all the way around. Can you see that there? There we go. So just tidy that station away. Now let's mount this onto our work. going to stick this onto here see that there? pushed it back a little bit and then on the other parts 
cut some paper ahead of time so let's mount these onto here now now you can pop your sentiments panels you could pop a poem on the inner pages if you wanted to you can distress around the craft card if you want to too you know to keep it all in theme But these are two top folding note cards that I stuck together. You could do two 8x8 eight eight cards, you could do two 5x7 cards. You don't have to use the shape that I've used at all. Just dig out what you've got in your stash. If there's, what about if there's a specific card, a card blank that um, you don't really use that often? You're thinking, I don't, that's just a card size I do not never touch. I don't know why I bought that size card. That's a great one to pick up for this sort of technique, isn't it? And get it used. And then you're never going to buy that one again. So you've got some more of your stash cleared out. So there we go. All right, so let's just enhance this a little bit more. Last thing. So I have a panel here of craft card. And I have the decorative paper. I'm just going to stick this one direct onto this panel. This panel is one and three quarter inch and this one has just a little bit less just to get that nice border we'll stick this one onto here so a nice border top and bottom and then what we'll do is we'll create ourselves a nice little belly band now you could do a belly band this side if you wanted to or you can do a belly band this sort of length I'm going to do edge today so all I do is I pop it down like so and then I just pick up the edge and bring it in. Pick up the other edge, bring it in. Don't do it too tight though, it needs to move. So if you want to pop a family photo in, things like that. And then here I have a piece of craft card square and a pretty matte and layer on there. Can we see that there? So let's stick this on here. And then we'll pull these two together, not too tight. Remember, it has to move. And then this pretty panel is going to connect them. We'll go this way. I'll just connect these two as well. And you can pop a name, a name on here if you want to. And you can pop it in the centre if you want to. Hopefully I haven't done it too tight. So when you've done it like that, that is too tight, what you need to do is budge it up and down, you know, like up and down, up and down till it, it, the card gives out a little bit. Let me just stretch that out a little bit just for a little bit of ease if it'll let me. Try now. And then the belly band is just like that little added accent to um, enhance what you've got as a little gift there we go see that there so you can see already it's starting to move the more times that you push it up and down the more tight the easier it gets what happened that is it breaks down the fibers in the card and then it becomes a little bit loose so don't do it too tight but don't do it baggy either so there we go i would probably pop a little personal name on that one and then when they open it up there could be a poem a family of the grand a picture of the grandkids there could be anything couldn't there so let's have a look Oh dear, cat under the bonnet. That's not good. Not good at all. So there we go. I'll just hold it up to the front there so you can see. So you can decorate it and make it as pretty as you want. I've used quite masculine colours today because I feel like woodland is very masculine. But you could do a blossom tree, paint the top of the trees in pinks, bring it together, make your own piece of artwork. There are no rules. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. I will pop a picture over on Facebook uh, after this live hour. Don't forget to pop a comment on the YouTube channel as well. And then tomorrow, let's have a look. Tomorrow, we will start Wild Soul. So if you've got it brilliant, you can craft along. So these style of stamps give you lovely watercolour images and techniques. We might actually, I know a lot of you have been asking me to get my acrylics and my gouache out, haven't you? So I'll see if I can find them for tomorrow and we'll have a play.
I hope that's okay. So this one tomorrow, if you have got it, if you haven't and you're waiting for it, we'll dispatch it as quick as we can. But as always, the tuition is always on YouTube. It never goes away. So thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. You all, you all amaze me because you all are here every single day. So thank you so much. I will see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. Don't forget uh, with some more inspiration. Have a lovely afternoon and I'll speak to you all later. See you later. Bye.